Hey everybody, Jack Hammer here. Hope you are doing well today. Wanted to get here and give you a quick update on Brock Purdy. Had been a lot of questions in recent days as far as the holdup, what is the timeline going to be for Brock Purdy and his surgery on the UCL that was torn during the NFC Championship game a couple of weeks ago against the Eagles. Well, we got some word on that today. And according to Ian Rappaport of NFL Network, Purdy will meet with Dr. Keith Meister in Dallas on February 21st. So two weeks from yesterday. And he has plans to have that surgery two weeks from today, meaning that it'll be happening on February 22nd. Meister is the team doctor of the Texas Rangers, giving him a lot of history working with pitchers and baseball players dealing with elbow injuries. This time he'll be working on Purdy. The expectation here is that Purdy will make a full recovery and be ready to go for training camp. So you look at this whole thing, there was a possibility that Purdy would need to go under, undergo Tommy John surgery that timeline would have put him out for uh, as much as 18 months. That's typical for a baseball player. Usually it's much less for football. I'll get into that in, in, in a minute. But the timeline here of six months suggests that Purdy will be undergoing the internal brace procedure. Uh, that six month timeline that was reported by Rappaport is consistent with what John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan said during their end of year press conference uh, back on February 1st. According to John Lynch, I think the positive bit of news is that it seems to be consistent that the right approach is the one that takes about six months. Now, everybody will also say you never know until you get in there. And that's 100% accurate. You never know exactly what's going to happen until you cut that elbow open and you get in there and you see what you're working with. San Francisco has dealt with several injuries in recent years. And Cal Shanahan, though, he, during that end of your press conference, press conference, voiced that he was pleased with what he'd been hearing regarding Purdy's possible return. According to Cal Shanahan, he says the coolest thing for me to hear about is that once three months is over, they start the rehab of just building arm back slowly. And by six months, it's built back. And that's when I start to ask questions. Does that mean ease him in? When you think of these ACLs and those types of things? Uh, no, the buildup's been there from that three to six month mark. So once he hits that six month mark, he's ready to go and that's the most encouraging thing that Kyle Shanahan heard. And I think that should be encouraging to all 49er fans. I, one of the things that you look at this, if all goes well for, for Purdy with the surgery, he'll be again working on his rehab, as I said, about three months from, from now. So that would be uh, around May 22nd uh, is exactly three months post-surgery that he'd begin to start working. Some of those things that he's going to be working on building up that arm strength uh, in, the, in there, he's also going to be able to start throwing the ball shortly after. So, by the time he is ready to come back, when they release him, he is not only, it's not going to be walking out there throwing a football for the first time, really letting it rip. He's going to be having a few, couple of months underneath his belt there. Another thing, when you when you look at the situation with Brock Purdy and you, and you look at the timeline, you mentioned earlier that with Tommy John surgery, the normal timeline for a pitcher is 18 months. It's much different for football. Uh, in football, the, one of the biggest differences, one of the reasons that baseball pitchers deal with the, with the UCL injury so much is because of the speed at which their arm is is going. The baseball is much lighter than a football, which allows that arm speed to be much quicker, which also makes that deceleration phase of the throw to be much more abrupt. Whereas with a football, you're not able to get that same velocity on your arm from start to finish. So you don't really have that same kind of wear and tear. Uh, there was uh, one known uh, case of, of Tommy John surgery in an NFL quarterback is Jake DeLome of the Carolina Panthers. He had that surgery in uh, October of 2007. He was back on the field in time for training camp the following year uh, and, and made, played throughout that following year in 2008 uh, with that Tommy John surgery. So with Purdy not having a, the, the Tommy John going with this internal brace instead, uh, it's very likely that everything's going to be fine. He's going to be ready to go. In with, within that six month period, but there's also a possibility that he will be able to start uh, back with the team prior to that six months. And that's an important piece because if you look at the timing of this, six months from the surgery date, surgery happening on February 22nd, six months would be August 22nd. That's just two days prior to the 49ers final preseason game. The NFL season uh, starting two weeks later from that, the final preseason games always played that on a Thursday night. So. There's your time frame for Brock Purdy, the surgery occurring on February 22nd. Six months from that would be August 22nd. Uh, final preseason game would be August 24th. 
So the, the big key here for Brock Purdy and the potential of a quarterback competition with Trey Lance to be the, new, the starting quarterback for the Fires in 2023 will be the question is, can he actually beat that time frame a little bit? How does his arm respond to that surgery? Uh, is he able to start going in practice prior to the 22nd of August? That's the, uh, the, the thing to keep an eye on here. But good news, Brock, Brock Purdy with surgery coming up on the 22nd in Dallas with Dr. Keith Meister of the Texas Rangers. There you have everybody. Keep it locked in here to the Jackhammer channel for all your 49ers news and updates as they happen. Take care, everybody, and we'll be talking to you soon.